Okay, you guys, double trouble meatloaf. The reason I call it double trouble is it doesn't only have beef, but we add bacon, which gives it some fat, some moisture, some happiness, all the things that you're looking for in meatloaf. First thing I do, I have a yellow onion minced up, two cloves of garlic, a little bit of butter. We're gonna sweat that out. Very important little tip here. When the onions go in, add a nice pinch of salt. What the salt does is it pulls all that moisture out and brings the sweetness to the onions. Those going. So our onions are translucent, very aromatic. That's what you're looking for. In goes our garlic. Let that continue to sweat. And then to bump up the flavor a little bit, I have some smoked paprika and some ground chipotle powder. And I am gonna put in a teaspoon of each. If you like it a little more spicy, you could put in more chipotle. And I add the powder well, this is sweating because it releases the oil of the powder and really kind of brings all their flavors out. So give this a stir. Oh man, you could smell the smokiness just coming through. While these are sweating, we want to get our meat mix going. So I have a pound and a half of ground chuck. It's about 90-10, and that's what you usually find at the grocery store nowadays. Now that is way too lean to make a great meatloaf, a great meatball, a great hamburger. So here's what I do. I take a half a pound of bacon, nice smoky bacon, ground it up. Now we have our fat. Another trick, when my mother made Greek meatballs when I was a kid, she would take day old bread, soak it in milk, it would get nice and moist, and then she'd add it to the meatballs, which would make them light and really, really moist. And to that, I'm gonna add two eggs. Egg, and we're ready to go. All right. Oh man, you could smell it. That goes right in. Nice, good pinch of salt. And then we just start to mix. <laughs> there we go. And you just want to get everything nice and incorporated. Last ingredient, just a little bit parsley. Remember, when you are cutting herbs, you don't need to whack it and chop it like crazy. It pushes all the oils out of the herbs, and all you get is a well-seasoned cutting board. There's no need for that. One pass goes in the mix. One last stir. Oh, yeah. And the parsley just adds a little bit of brightness to it. Helps cut through the richness a little bit. Once it's mixed, we pack it in our meatloaf pan. It's going to bind together with those eggs and that bread. 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour or to get to about 150 degrees internal temperature. Okay, 45 minutes to an hour and it should be cooked all the way through. Oh, and it smells so good. I could smell the bacon, I mean. I'm incredibly happy right now. Look at this. <laughs> nice and moist. And the aroma coming from the bacon, this is meatloaf that any little kid would love. Super moist, delicious meatloaf.